Every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asov. Apart from Asov. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up.
Ah, let's see where this goes. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Whoa, up there. Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. Asav only respects Asav. Good name. <laughs> It's a shame, in a way, that the lure's hidden from the world. Another goal. I'm guessing it's one of the hoists in our kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. There we go. Up this way. Damn it! They've blown the entrance. Got to be another way in. They're trying to slow us down. Yeah. And in case there was any doubt, this was Balor. Lord Shiva. Plus Nandi. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh. At least before he got his elephant's head. Could be. Might also be Kartikeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chose different paths. In here, Nadine. Blah. <coughs> Tastes great. Hurry up. We need to catch up Come with the others. Head. I see him. Okay. Big city. There must be another way through. What is this place? Oh, or a well. <laughs> Bit deeper here. Some 
Omega. Over here. Coming. Hi. Huh. Look there. The Queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. Oh, well, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kannad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. A special library? Seems so. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. Vina. It's the Sitar's distant ancestor. Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Sarf get that tusk. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. grandeur hidden away from the world but how do we get over there <laughs> uh. 
Come on. It's deep enough. Okay. That's our way back in. Copy that. Thanks for going first, eh? You're welcome. Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Place is flooded. Top of a doorway over here. That'll work. Okay. Easy does it. Now, what? Got water in my ears. I hate that. I wouldn't give her a towel. <laughs> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point. I've run out of words. Really goddamn shit. That's what? The hell no, there's this place. The throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. I'll be safe for a But they're mostly broken. I'll have to find another way out. Shit. I just realized something. I think I'll know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find a salve. Or until he finds us. 
Nothing to climb this way. See a way up? Looking. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. <laughs> ah, now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. More specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I'll just now notice Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. That's Vasuki, a king of the Nagas. Entities that take the form of the king cobra. It shows his control over fear and death. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. Coming? I'm going to send to the other side. Okay. <sighs> ah. There's another crank up ahead. Okay, I better get a move on. No going back now. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, good suggestion. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Nearly destroyed my pants. Wow. I can see my house from here. I did. I'll be right down. Whoa! Whoa! Here we go. Okay, I've got this one. And I've got this one. <gasps> Teamwork! Bringing down Shiva's drum. Uh oh. This one's.
Hills like the Trident. Time to move. Come on, jump to the drum. Thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shaped drum. Oh shit, here we go. Hang on. And now we turn the water on for this side. Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. The light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. What you said, back in that place with all the statues and axes. Things always come in threes. Three points of a trident, the light split into three beams, and Shiva's third eye. Looks right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. Look up. The statue's not the right place. Ah, right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that? Yeah. There. You make a phenomenal statue. Get over there. This thing's heavy. Right. Careful. That ledge doesn't look sturdy. Copy that. Okay, that did something. So I can put this down? No, wait for it. What's happening? I can't see from over here. Just uh, hold still for just a sec. All this water, it's a cleansing ritual. What's happening? Oh, you can put down the mirror now. Oh, shit, they found us! Get you ready! Shit! was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit. What the hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. 
First you steal my desk, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <clears throat> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but it, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> oh, my. Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! The kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on. Oh, our on way. the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, <coughs> you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Sharama. Don't try anything stupid. Better not be stalling. Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet! my 
patience. Yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. What are you doing? Shut up. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. You see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Ganesh sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? You're going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with! Right? 
As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Bias. What do you mean? Still very soft talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for. Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make this. Huh. And there's our ride. 